Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Joey Styles, and this is The War Room. Wrestling fans, The War Room is a brand new once a week program that's going to cover all things FWF related. Now, up until a month ago, the FWF was simply the Fantasy Wrestling Federation. It was a singular promotion that competed once a week. It has now evolved into the governing body for three totally different promotions. We're going to meet, as my first guest, the gentleman responsible for all of this. He is the newly appointed president of the FWF, the living legend, Bruno San Martino. President San Martino, thank you so much for joining us here in the war room. I want to get right to business on this. It's such an incredible time right now here in the wrestling industry. And when you joined, when you accepted the role of president, there was only one organization you were representing. And now, how quickly it's all evolved. Give us a little bit of the backstory as to how we got here. Uh, well, you know, the, the, the reason we got here is because when I was asked to, if I would take on this opportunity to become the president of the FWF, you know, I, I agreed to do so, but I also told them that I had some things that I wanted to see done a little bit differently. I looked at the roster we had, and I realized we had so many, many top athletes, so, so many great opportunities here, and it would not be fair to the performers, it would not be fair to the fans, if we did not offer more than one program, because there would be no way. You think about it, the average wrestling show, maybe you have five to seven matches. Even if half of those are tag team matches, there's still a whole lot of these guys that will never get the opportunity to be seen on the television, and that's not fair to them. It's not fair to the fans. So I decided that at least if we have the two federations, it gives everybody an opportunity to be seen. Fair enough, but from then, you went on and created a third federation. This one featuring an all-female roster, something really never done before, at least not like this. Yeah, well, you know, I, I thought about this long and hard, and for the same logic, you know, for the men. You think about professional wrestling, you watch shows on Monday night, and what do you see? You see wrestling. If, you, if you're lucky, you see maybe two women wrestling matches, and not, usually not that much. And there's so many, many talented young young lady wrestlers out there that are just, it is, it's their time now. You look and you can see. And the whole thing about this industry is you always have to be moving with the current. You have to be able to put your, your finger on the pulse. And it's very clear. We've seen a lot of matches lately. We've seen women headlining cards that were dominated by male and, and uh, justifiably so, the main event, and they're very, very talented. These are women who work very, very hard at their craft. They are top-notch athletes, and they deserve this opportunity. Well, I couldn't agree more. A lot of people want to try and say, well, there were women wrestling federations before that, and they will name things like Glow and Resh Delicious. And I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't about good-looking ladies that don't know a wristwatch from a wrist lock. These are first-class athletes. And they put on every bit of greatest matches any of the male counterparts out there. And they're proving themselves night in and night out. Never more so than these two recent tournaments to crown the fierce women's champion, which is Bailey, And then the more recent United States champion, which is the first ever. Yeah, you know something? I'm very, very proud of what they did for the United States Championship Tournament. As well as, as well as the fierce uh, women's heavyweight championship. Uh, very, very, very intense matchups, great competition. The fans got all their money's worth for those two events. Uh, I put those main events up against any other event, any pay per view, any 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 other show of its kind, because these guys, these ladies were just absolutely amazing. All right, so now, of course, I have to ask the big question. There has been talk about a women's tag team division. What can you tell us about that? Well, again, it's the same thing. I. I if we're going to do this, we have to do this right. Now, you show me any men's wrestling organization that does not have a tag team division. They all have them. So we're going to have one for the women as well. Already there are several teams being formed, and there are others out there that are coming together. When you think about women's wrestling and you think about tag team wrestling, you don't have anything in the women's history that comes close to rivaling like the Legion of Doom or Demolition or Rock and Roll Express, Midnight Express. You can name all the great tag teams, Heart Foundation, and the list goes on and on, but you don't have that for the women's wrestling. 
I mean, the closest thing you ever will come to is maybe like the Jumping Bomb Angels, which is a great tag team, but you didn't see that in women's wrestling, and you're going to see that now. You're going to see women who are going to specialize in tag team wrestling, and I believe they are going to absolutely take it to another level. All right, we are almost out of time, but I, I did have one other thing I wanted to talk to you about. So when the roster came out, the lineups came out, we realized Fierce is going to be Thursday nights, the Legends is going to be on Friday nights, and then Shotgun Saturday is going to take over Saturday nights. What was it? You have a vision for Saturday night. What is Shotgun Saturday night going to be? Yeah, well, you know, I, I wanted Saturday Night Wrestling to be exciting again. I don't want it to be four weeks of a show that's, you know, pretty good, and then you have to wait for the big super card at the end of the month before you get the payoffs. Every single week is going to be a pay-per-view on Shotgun Saturday Night. We're going to have the matches you never imagined in your life, and we will have all kinds of matches. And because it is the fantasy night of wrestling, you could see absolutely any kind of matchup. And... I can tell you right now, you watch this Saturday night and you see the main event, which I will only tell you this is going to be a tag team match, but you will understand exactly what the future is for Shotgun Saturday night after this week. All right, we will definitely be looking forward to that. President San Martino, I can't thank you enough for taking time out of your busy schedule to spend with us. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for this week's edition of The War Room, reminding you to join us on Thursday night for Fierce on Friday night for the Legends Wrestling Federation, and Saturday for Shotgun Saturday Night. All can be watched live on Ustream. Highlights here on the YouTube network for Invasion Network. Thank you for joining us. Take care. We'll see you next week.